these punks have a big machine rumbling between their legs. They think they're God. This is the story of the born losers. Vicky smiled and won herself a guided trip to hell. The born losers fancied her bike, her boots, and her bikini, and staked their claim. She was out for kicks and in for trouble with the sickest cycle gang that ever turned a hot summer night into a fear-chilled nightmare. She was the spark that destroyed a town while the law stood by helplessly. You see, it isn't just that the born losers take you apart. It's the way they do it. I think I counted them up a few years ago and I had 250 LPs. I've also done about 300 CDs and maybe another 250, 45 covers. See, I don't produce art. I produce artifacts. I produce cultural artifacts. In Seattle, I helped create this, this culture that I, basically I helped create the market I fit into. That's an old advertising technique, right? Mm -hmm. You know, create a demand and then fill it. When I was first working up there, there was nothing like this. I did stuff for avant-garde theaters, I got, did work for little arts groups, and for friends of mine who had rock bands, you know, anything. In the meantime, I was trying to make a living doing annual reports and, and, and ads and, you know, brochures for dentists and stuff. I was participating in creating the visual language form of what later became known as the Seattle grunge scene. And, you know, I wasn't alone, there were others, but I was one of the very first to be doing that. You know, I, the development of the image of Sub Pop record, some of it was my effort, some of it was stuff that had picked up around, a lot of it was collaboration with a client with a vision, but that's how it began to happen. Notice, the stuff of 1980 is much more sophisticated, much tidier, and much cleaner than the stuff from 2000, the most recent stuff, which is shittier. I'm good at shitty. That's the only reason people still come to me. Why is it harder to shoot on a computer? Because uh, it works on a, a grid. <laughs> and you can, all right, with a push of a button, you can do a hairline as long and perfect as you want and connect it to a corner exactly perfectly and run it up. It used to be in graphic design that that was a real mark of quality. That's why all those, those early corporate looks kind of evolved because that is what they were paying for, was precision. Uh, doing things really rough and rasty was considered low quality. Well, now the computers have come into the picture, anybody can buy a program and be that precise. And people go work on this stuff for hours and hours and hours to make something look this crappy, you know? Whereas, you know, I use the old techniques and it looks crappy, see?
ask me another stupid question.